Once upon a time, long, long ago, in a little cottage deep in the dark woods lived a very little girl, and her name was Little Red Riding Hood. Everyone liked her, and she was kind and very considerate. She lived in a cottage in the woods? Yes, and she was kind, and she did her chores, and she tended the gardening, and she fed the cats, and she played skip ropes, and she was fun. One afternoon, Little Red Riding Hood's mother called her. Little Red Riding Hood, Granny isn't feeling well, so I've baked her favorite custard pie for a little surprise. Can you be a good girl and take her to her, will you? Sure, Mom. That'll be great. I love going to Granny's house, even though it meant crossing the deep, dark woods. So the mother made the pie, the custard was cooled, and put the pie into a basket. Now, whatever you do, she said, go straight into Granny's and do not tarry. Do not speak to any strangers. Yes, Mom, said Little Red Riding Hood. Before long, she took the basket, put it in her little red riding coat, and started going into the woods. La, 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 la. Oh, I'm in the dark, dark woods. And then she got deeper and deeper and deeper into the dark, dark woods. She was on a dark, wooded path with lots of trees and lots of bushes. And she ran right into a furry animal. I think so. And he said, excuse me. And he said, who are you? She says, I'm Little Red Rages Riding Hood. And then he's like, oh, and what you got in that basket? I got a little, little uh, present for my grandma. My mom made a little pie. Oh, care to, uh, care to give me some? Well, it's for her. I got to get to my mom, grandma. My mom told me I can't stop to talk to strangers, so see you later, you big furry thing. Bye. So she kept walking and walking and left that old furry creature right behind her. And then she was going to grandma's house. And she looked and looked and she knocked on the door and and then she went in but that wolf was watching her when he heard her say she's going to grandma's house and the little yellow house in the woods so he was peering behind her because he was pretty hungry and that smelled really good that pie so he had a delightful idea no reason why i can't eat them both he thought and so he likes it. Hello, Red Riding Hood. I should escort you to your house. You're too kind, said Little Red Riding Hood. Thank you. I don't want to run into any mean strangers. So they saw some sunflowers and the wolf suggested they pick a few. So they picked a few sunflowers. Granny loves flowers. But while Red Riding Hood was picking the pretty back with the clever wolf, went on ahead, went into Grandma's house. Who is? cried Granny. It is I, your deliciousness, I mean, or your darling granddaughter, said the wolf in a high voice. The door is unlocked. The door is unlocked, said Granny. That's strange. Surprise, cried the wolf. Ah, Granny was furious. Get out of here, you horrid thing, you big beast with big teeth, she cried. But the wolf gobbled her right up. He didn't even bother to chew. Gulp, gulp. Tasty, he said, patting his belly. So tasty. Brr, he belched. Brr. And then he heard footsteps on the garden path. Here comes dessert. dessert. Deliciousness is coming. And losing no time, he put on Granny's cap and her little nightgown. And the little red riding hood knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Deliciousness. I mean, who is it? The door's unlocked, Grandma. Okay, come on in. Little Red Riding Hood was was distressed to see her grandmother. Why, Granny, what big eyes you have. 
You better to see, my dear, said the wolf. Oh, and Granny, what long arms you have. The better to hold you with, my dear, said the wolf. And Granny, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you, my dear. Roar, roar. And the gobbled her up, just like that. I'm so wicked, he said, so wicked. But really, he was enormously pleased with himself. Oh, look at my belly. Oh, burp, burp, burp. A hunter passing by was alarmed. That doesn't sound like Granny. Granny, you okay? And so brave hunter jumped in the window, killed the sleeping wolf, and cut him open. Oh, Granny and Red Riding Hood were ever so grateful, said Red Riding Hood. And they... That wicked wolf won't trouble you again, said the hunter. And Grandma and Little Red Riding Hood were saved. Saved. The hunter saved them both. Oh, that big wolf, he tried to nibble me, but my necklace got in his teeth. Yeah, thank you so much. And so she didn't speak to strangers ever again, because, you know, Mommy was right. Don't talk to strangers. The end.